Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Designer Secrets, Tips, Tricks, and Hacks. My name is Lori, and we are going to do a part two of the Christmas extravaganza decorating show. So this is going to be about your fireplace mantle, and do not worry if you do not have a fireplace. I have some little tips for you on how you can use these ideas as well. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got some examples of some mantle decor for Christmas and the most important thing, and we had talked about this in my previous episode about Christmas tree decorating, is you want these mantles to look full and festive and fluffed. So the three F's. You don't want it to look skimpy. You want to do it like you had an intention when decorating the mantle obviously. So keeping that greenery really full and fluffed and decorated in an impactful way, which we are going to talk about, is key. So number one, you are going to think about what theme you want for your mantle decor, and it's going to need to coordinate with your tree, obviously, unless for some reason your mantle and your tree are completely separate, which is possible. But anyhow, coordinate with your tree, coordinate with the room decor if that's necessary. If you have a really neutral home, that's great because then the sky is the limit. But you want to tie that in somehow with the exception of the traditional red and green tree and mantle. That is such a traditional Christmas combination that really you can plug that in anywhere. However, if you do want that elevated look on your mantle, it does need to make sense with its surroundings. So that being said, again, pick your theme. You've got a nautical theme on the top left, and that's great if you live by the ocean, want to be on vacation, or what have you. So I'm just showing you a few examples. Of course, there's a million and one, but these are all very unique and different themes. Below that, you have a more natural, monochromatic scheme of the theme oh, that rhymed but anyhow um it's all neutrals whites and greens you've got some natural uh, material for the stockings some natural wood candles on the mantle and a few red ornaments kind of tucked into that tree which has the flocking that again we talked about in my christmas tree decorating video and it's a great way to make the tree look natural and festive on the right, you have a more sophisticated look. Um, it's got a nice linear design on the mantle. Nothing really stands out from the other. It gives one big impact piece because it's all grouped together. It's all in the same gold tones. And with the greenery, the pine cones, and the white stockings, it's a very elevated designer look. And below that is a more typical mantle with your traditional nutcracker decor. And I love that. Nutcrackers are one of my very favorite things ever. I have my own collection that grows every year. But anyhow, you'll see it's your typical red and green, but it's elevated because you are adding in these whimsical nutcrackers. You have some lanterns with fairy lights. So it's more of a fun effect. So again, the sky's the limit on themes. Really think about what you want your mantle to look like and go from there. So the second thing to think about is the shape of the greenery that you want to put on your mantle. Now, I'm not saying you have to have greenery. Maybe you just have a few sprigs of pine needles or eucalyptus because it doesn't have to be pine, as you'll see. Um, but the shape is still important. So on the top left, you have kind of a typical greenery spray that just drapes over the ends. You want to avoid just meeting the ends of the fireplace mantle. When it drapes over, it's a little bit more dramatic and see how full that greenery is. And you've got some berries stuck in there, some twigs to give it a little bit more definition and a sculptural effect and it looks nice and it's a very traditional way to do that. 
However, you can also do like what's in the picture next to that, where you kind of have a cascade of greenery coming down from the mantle. So it is more directional, uh, pointing towards the fireplace. So it draws your eye down to the fireplace. And this does stop at the end of the mantle. However, because it drapes down, that's fine because if you can imagine the draping forward and draping them sides, it might get a little crazy. So let's stay away from crazy. But again, full. Now this one did add lights, which is great. Um, if you have a plug by your fireplace or on the top of the mantle, that's even better. So you don't see any cords dangling because Again, like we talked in the Christmas tree decorating video, you do not want to see your cords ever, 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 ever. On the right hand side, you will see again, you have kind of a draping effect. It's a little bit more of a spray draping effect. And again, you've got some insert pieces of looks like eucalyptus and some white berries, flowers, feathers. Um, so those are, it's a nice natural look. It stands out really well against that white fireplace backdrop. And it's got a very sophisticated look. Now below that, I am just dying over this one. I think I'm going to try that this year. This is absolutely stunning with the red and green typical color combo. However, done in a very atypical way with an asymmetrical swag where you've got the burst of berries on the left hand side and it kind of tapers through the greenery and down onto the floor on the other side where you see more of the greenery it's really simple but it's really full and it's very much high design due to the fact that it is something different it creates a really nice focal point when you walk in and see that mantle and to the left of that which i'm covering up i'm sorry i'm going to pull this picture up in the middle so you can see it better um, is a swag where the greener actually dips down um, on two points uh, offset of the center and it's a pretty traditional monochromatic look the green again you don't have to do greens and reds this is golds and light greens and dark greens and uh, white and it's beautiful and it's a very traditional look. However, it's an elevated design style. Now let's talk about stockings. And this is fun. We got to put them up so Santa can fill them. Um, but there are some no-nos on stockings and you can mess up the whole look of your decor getting the wrong stocking. We want them to not look cheap not be made of cheap materials. They are such an important part of decorating your mantle. You want to make sure that you get good quality, nice, thick, substantial material. Don't get cheesy on the designs. I know, I'm sure if you have little kids, they want to see, you know, snowmen and reindeer and all that, but there are elevated ways of doing that so that you can still make it look sophisticated and more like high design. So you can see on the left-hand picture what I'm talking about, where the stockings are a high quality, they still have the characters on them. However, they are nicely made and they are a good size, which brings me to another point. Do not get stockings that are too small for the size of your fireplace. It just looks dinky and silly and not good. So don't do that. You want them to come down at least to the top of your fireplace opening. So side note there, write that down. Um, on the center picture, another important thing are the hangers for your uh, stockings. So if you don't want to uh, drive nails into your mantle, which I don't suggest and if the command strips don't work for whatever reason and they show which we don't want them to show if they do put a bow over them or hide them somehow but you can find some beautiful um, whimsical fireplace stocking hangers like these reindeer or below you can get some with uh, your initials all kinds of cute hangers so go check them out. They're not that expensive and it's a really fun way to hang your stockings. However, 
I do warn when Santa does come and fills up those stockings with candy, more than likely those hangers will not hold the weight. So Santa might have to leave them on the hearth, which is okay. My kids never mind it. Um, another thing that is important to know about stockings is they look better when they're filled. However, the top right photo does show them unfilled, which is okay. They're still pretty. There's enough um, depth to those knit stockings that they don't necessarily have to be filled. But if you see on the other photos that you can wrap some faux presents and throw them in there for decorating purposes and take them out when it, the real night comes. Um, some bulbs, again, just to elevate the look of your mantle. And on the top right, one of the reasons I wanted to throw that picture in is to show you do not have to center your stockings all across the width of your fireplace. You actually want to group them together so it looks more impactful, like it shows in the other pictures. However, if you only have a few, like this one that shows three, group them on the side. It looks great. You can throw something down on the hearth on the other side to balance it. Maybe um, a basket with some birch branches in there. Even if it's a gas fireplace, that's okay. We can pretend we're going to burn logs. So put them over there on the opposite side if you're doing an asymmetrical stocking hanging layout. And then that way you've got the stockings on one side and the branches on the other and it balances and Lori's happy. And not only do we need stockings, but we also need, in most instances, not all, decor in addition to your garland and your stockings. So you'll see in these options here, you can do something very symmetrical like the photo in the middle. You've got the two vases and lanterns and candles evenly balanced on each side, uh, flanking a piece of Christmas art. And then you've got the pretty swag, swagged garland below that. So you can do symmetrical. You can do asymmetrical as in the right hand picture. You've got greenery across the top, a nice wreath on top of the mirror there, and then the little trees to the side to the right. And again, you've got asymmetrical stockings hanging below that. So that's a good look as well. And layering is important as you'll see in this picture with the wreath over the mirror. And then on the opposite side, you'll see it's nicely layered. You've got more of a rustic look, but you can see we're going back to the triangular decorating idea that we've talked about in my accessorizing video that I did in groups of three. So I know you're going to say, wait, well, hey, there's two stockings, not three. However, you'll see there's the little tree above that. So one, two, three, you've got this two stockings and the little tree. So that's three. And then you've got the layer of the window pane, the word art, and the star all layered on top of each other, which is beautiful. It's creating kind of that sloped triangular effect, which is very important. And it's a group of three. And then to the left of that, you have the two candlesticks. Again, it's not three, it's two, but then you have some red berries tucked into that greenery that gives that part weight and adds a little anchor there with the sled below. So it all balances, but it's all different. And in the lower center photo where it says joy, that is where everything is centralized. You can do that as well. And you've got the uh, really pretty arched window frames lit up with uh, Christmas, white Christmas lights, and then some natural trees sitting on top of greenery and the joy lit up with a spray below it. Beautiful and a really good way to center any kind of decorations you want to put on your tree. And bottom right is, again, that really sophisticated, more modern look linear look where they're all basically the same height with just a little variation spread completely across that mantle. Very clean lined, but it still gets the nice point across that it's Christmas, but we're having a very sophisticated Christmas this year. 
And that brings me to what if we don't have a mantle? That's okay. Do we live in an apartment or just a house that doesn't have one? Or maybe we do have a fireplace, but no mantle. So here are some great ideas that you can do um, as far as putting a swag up over top of that fireplace and hanging your stockings from the swag. You could lean a ladder, a decorative ladder against the wall near a tree and hang your stockings there. Use a piece of furniture or if you have a piano, that's great. And below that, you can see we could hang a shelf and use the shelf as our mantle or staircase. Again, that's a great look. I've done that before too. Put your garland on the railing and hang your stockings from there or do a more modern, sophisticated look like it shows here in this photo where you've got your wreath mounted directly to the uh, surround and bulbs dangling around it. All right, so now that you've got all these awesome ideas on how to decorate your mantle, I am excited for you to go out and start gathering things to get this ball rolling. And if you'd like, please post pictures and let me know what you've done. As always, please subscribe, like, share, yell from the rooftops, and tell everybody you know about my videos and I will see you next time with some more professional decorating tips and tricks. Have a great day.